Hello everyone. Hope you all are happy and healthy. Let's begin with the new topic which is biography of Jack Derrida. We can highlight him as a French philosopher, a critic of western philosophy and analyst of nature of language writing and his meanings were highly controversial yet it were influential in the intellectual world in 20th century. Let's start with his life and work. Derrida was born on July 15, 1930 in Algeria, a territory of France. He was born into a Sephardic Jewish family. It seen that he faced criticism in his childhood as he was forced out of at least two school on account of being Jewish. His experiences played a large role in his insistence upon the importance of the marginals and others. Derrida was third of five children. In the adolescent, he read works of Rousseau, Nietzsche, Gide and this writing contained revolt against family and society. This writer tried to rewrite history of modernity and this was liked by Derrida. In 1952, he was admitted in the École Normale Supérieure in Paris. Let me tell you, before this, he had to give entrance twice as he failed in first attempt. It's also interesting that on his first day in École Normale Supérieure, he met Louis Althusser and they became friends. One must know that Louis Althusser was a French Marxist philosopher. He then completed his master's degree in philosophy on Edmund Husserl. As a thesis, he prepared Problem of Genesis in Husserl's Philosophy and published it in 1990. Later, he also passed the highly competitive aggregation exam in 1956. For this, he received a grant for studies at Harvard University. In June 1957 he married the psychoanalyst Margaret Ocuturier. We can see the happy couple in their later ages. From 1957 to 1959 he decided to teach soldiers children in lieu of military service during Algerian War of Independence. He taught them French and English. In the following year he published numerous books and essays on various topics and lectured throughout the world including at Yale University University of California and it was here when he was began to be recognized as popular celebrity in the 1960s derrida's work was welcomed in france and elsewhere by thinkers interested in the broad interdisciplinary movement known as structuralism Let me tell you the structuralist is a person who analyzes various cultural phenomena such as myth religion ritual literary narratives languages their own vocabularies their own rules and to develop meta language of terms and concepts in which various sign system could be described derrida was a critic of them and his earlier works criticized major structuralist like Saussure, Louis Strauss, Michel Foucault, etc. Derrida thus led the movement structuralism to post-structuralism. In the year 1964, he got permanent teaching position at École Normale Supérieure. In the following year, he got associated with Tel Quel Group, which was a group of literary and philosophical theorists. In 1966, he read the structure sign and play in the discourse of human sciences on structuralism at john hopkins university and it is here when his international prominence began to rise in the year 1967 second son jean was born he also published his first three books these are writing and difference speech and phenomena and grammatology In 1980 he received his first honorary doctorate from Columbia University and also was awarded his state doctorate but for this he had to submit 10 of his previously published book to University of Paris In 1981 he traveled Prague for Cladician seminar 
here his purpose was to support the anti totalitarian movement in 1983 he co-founded the college international day philosophy along with Francois Chatelet and others the purpose of this institution was to provide institution for philosophical research which could not be carried out elsewhere in academia he was elected as its first president 2 years later he had his third child daniel in 1986 he became professor of humanities at university of california in irvin and he taught there until shortly before his death in 2004 the cause of his death is said to be because of pancreatic cancer which was diagnosed in 2003 and he died during surgery of it now let me point some more information on derrida his influence is seen more on literary studies than on philosophy derrida is founder of school of deconstructive criticism we will come to this soon the next we can say from his influential essays on every subject related to human sciences such as literature on anthropology on psychology and psychoanalysis on linguistic and language philosophy these subjects made him a difficult writer he had written on philosophy examining the contribution of husserl kant nietzsche and he brought to our ways of reading text and understanding textual significance he was interested in tracking grounds of textual organization and signification and hence his works brought changes in our thinking now let's talk about derrida and his connection with deconstruction derrida developed a new method known as deconstruction he says deconstructionism is neither to endeavor or cause deconstruction it is just affirmative openness towards others derrida mentioned that written words is characterized by the absence of original voice which gave it meaning this means it is impossible to know the intention behind the written word one reads what is written with multiple meanings possible and nobody has a monopoly on the right meaning for example letters and documents which has no writer are open to endless interpretations therefore texts are polyvalent and functions as letter that did not reach their destination and are now read by whoever happens to read them next the text is capable of infinite signification and receives meaning not by reconstructing the intention of its writer but through its autonomous function to explain this let's take the same example of letter which can be read by different readers in different ways and their second or third meaning is not equal to the first now if we restrict the text to one meaning we may ignore all other possible meanings these meanings are produced through different contexts of the reader and also through the context in which the written document is placed moving further let's see derrida and his relation with postmodernism we see that in postmodernism text is open to fantasy of the reader let's say the entire world is one big text and there is no limit to its explanations so the modern writer places his own point of view in every text then one can say that everyone has his own truth this would be inaccurate to say that derrida was a relativist as he did not recognize universal truth and resisted the imperialism of the sciences he just placed text next to each other so that they began speaking and we could draw clear picture then as a postmodern thinker he created sciences of writing that is grammatology well he thinks grammatology as a science but clearly it is not a positivistic science in fact one can call it a type of knowledge rather than science derrida gave a new turn to postmodernity and then there comes post structuralism which we discussed in the previous slide 
simply remember here that post structuralism is opposition to structuralism lastly let's point some criticism against derrida we can say that his writing are extreme subtle as it is precisely attending details and pursuing logical implications of marginal features of text nevertheless his works has met opposition among some philosophers especially among the anglo american tradition in 1992 there was a proposal by university of cambridge to award derrida an honorary doctorate this generated so much controversy that university took unusual step of putting issue to the vote of dons beside this 19 philosophers around globe published a letter of protest claiming that derrida's writing was incomprehensible and false some critics call him anti-rational and nihilistic opponent of serious philosophical thinking despite all such criticism his ideas remains a powerful force in philosophy and other fields while concluding we may say that beyond the boundaries of philosophy as an academic discipline derrida was the leading intellectual figure not only for the humanities but for the culture perception of a whole age That's it for this video. See you next time. If you wish to have notes of this topic, then please check the description. And if you like my video, then don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.